<laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's Ricky on O2L. And before I get into the video, stop what you're doing right now. If you didn't know, my very first song called Ordinary came out today, as well as the music video, and I worked so hard on it. I edited the music video myself, and I'm very proud of it. So if you could please just pause this video if you haven't watched it yet and go watch that music video then come back to this I'll have a link right here there'll be a link below it'll be at the end as well I just I worked so hard it's my most proud video I've ever made in my life so it would mean the world to me if you went and watched it and please give it a big thumbs up I want to make it my goal is for it to be my most liked video ever because it's my favorite video ever also I'm currently doing a all day long falling spree on Twitter just tweet to me a picture of you downloading the song on iTunes link below as well or a picture of you liking the music video and I will follow you. Just tweet the hashtags watch ordinary music video or buy ordinary on iTunes. I'll be checking both. Um, I'm following tons of people. That info is below as well. Anyway, I'll get to the actual video. Sorry for that. I just wanted to make to touch base on that before I got into the video. Yeah, this week on O2L well is travel week because we're all traveling. We're going to the UK um, for Digifest UK. We'll be in London. I'm so excited! And so anyway, it's travel week and I have been dealing with some problems this week with traveling. So I decided to do a little rant. I obviously love traveling. I love visiting new places and exploring. I love it. But at the same time, there's stuff along the way that is so annoying and frustrating. So this video is things I hate about traveling. The first thing on my list is currently my most frustrating thing because I'm currently dealing with it and it's absolutely ridiculous. But getting a passport, I hate it. The process is ridiculous and way too over the top. My situation is probably worse than normal because I just have had, have had, have had bad luck with it. What happened was, I need a passport to go to the UK, which I'm going in like three days. Still don't have my passport. What happened was, I applied for like a month ago. I went in with plenty of time. I paid extra money to get it early. And then two weeks later, they were like, oh, by the way, the photo you used was a week too old. A week too old. So I was freaking out because I hadn't gotten it yet. I had to resend them a new photo and I paid more money to get it shipped back for me the next day. They never sent it. It's been a week now since I did that and I still don't have it, but I've talked to them and I should get it today or tomorrow. And if not, I have a final last plan. It'll work out, but I'm just annoyed. I've been stressed out and dealing with it. My point is, why is getting a passport such an enormous, ridiculous, huge ordeal? Obviously it's important to have to go to other countries, but why can't we just walk into a place with all of our information, you know, license, all that stuff, get a picture, get the book, get the stuff then? Why does it cause a huge month of stress? The next thing are security lines. Obviously they are important because we want to keep airports safe and stuff, but they're just so stressful and they're always long. There's been a few times that I've almost missed my flight because they're so long and slow. And I always end up like getting out of the line, carrying my laptop, my shoes, all this stuff, my belt, my jacket. You have to basically undress and get naked to go through this thing. Like I said, it's very necessary, but at the same time it's stressful and kind of frustrating. The next thing I hate about traveling are long, boring road trips. Obviously, once you get to the destination where you're going it's awesome and fun but if the road trip is over three hours I don't like it it's boring you get cramps in your back your butt you're cramped in the car with people for a long time so things might get uneasy the next thing is on airplanes when you don't get enough food or drink obviously if it's a quick flight like an hour it's fine but long flights that are like four or five or ten hours which I'm doing Friday you don't get that much food or drinks it's torture and the little drinks they give you they're literally like this big it's like a sip like hey would you like a sip of soda no, I'd like 28 sips of soda, please. I don't want to sound ungrateful and complain. Obviously, it's complimentary, but at the same time, we're all paying a lot of money for the plane ticket, so we should get more food and drinks. This might be a personal issue for me because I have some kind of weird problem, I guess. I pee a lot, several times a day. So when I'm on like a long car ride or a long plane ride, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have to go several times. And it sucks because I always annoy the people I'm with. If I'm in the car with somebody, we have to stop a lot. If I'm on the plane, I'm not in the aisle seat. I try to get the aisle seat because I know I'm gonna have to pee a lot, but if I end up on like in the window, I always make people so mad because I have to get up all the time, they have to get up. This one's probably common, but packing just stresses me out. Like I said, I love traveling, I love getting, I love being there, but packing for the trip, causes so much stress. I hate doing it. I dread it. I put off the last minute and I always feel like I'm forgetting something. The next thing is losing sleep, which this may be just for me, but like whenever I travel, I usually don't get much sleep the night before because it's probably an early flight, blah, blah, blah. And then I can never sleep on a plane or in a car. I just can't sleep. It's not comfortable. So I end up getting no sleep for like two days. 
and then I start my trip off being super tired. The next thing, I don't know if it's every airport, I've been to some that are actually good about this, but LAX specifically, because that's the one I use, is horrible, horrible about arriving and departing. They don't let you stop for more than like a second, and the cops that patrol it are so, so rude, and it's ridiculous. Like, literally, I pick, Kim was picking me up from um, a trip, and we were probably stopped for maybe 10 seconds. I was putting my bag in the car, and a cop pulled up to Keen and yelled at him and threatened him to give him a ticket because he was stopped for too long. I was literally in the car, ready to go. He literally made us stay for more time by yelling at Kean, and we could have been gone. At least don't be so rude about it. Oh, and if your person isn't out in time, they make the car drive around the whole loop again. The loop is huge, it takes forever. It's just, ugh. And the last thing that is annoying about traveling, which probably people can relate to, probably all you can relate to, if you're traveling alone, it's so frustrating if you sit by either awkward or annoying people. That sounds kind of mean, but I can't stand sitting by someone who tells me their life story, like a stranger. Usually when I'm on a plane, I put my headphones in, listen to music, I play Pokemon, you know, maybe I'll edit a video. So if I have my headphones in, don't mean to be rude, but don't talk to me. That means I don't want to be talked to. But also the people that are really awkward that like won't say anything, but will look at you and glance at you and stuff. Like, hey, I'm sitting right next to you. I see you looking at me, at least talk. I like the people that are nice, they will say a few things, have a small talk conversation, and then do their own thing. That's how it should be. Day nice. Well guys, that's pretty much it for my video. Sorry it was kind of short and rushed, as I said, this week. Um, oh. Hey, Ken. As I said, I wanted to fo focus a lot on my music video. By the way, watch it if you haven't. Link. Link. Ta-da. I edited a bunch of pictures. Your hair looks really good. Come show them. <laughs> but if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Hey, Ken. Also, comment below <laughs> some more things that you guys hate about traveling that I did not say. Which one peed on your ground? Gata! I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Did you promote your song? Have a lovely day and an awesome week. Did yeah. you promote your song? Yes. Can you want to promote my song? Buy my song on iTunes, watch the music video. I'm following people right now on Twitter who do that. Links are below. Okay, guys. See ya later. I guess I'm